A lot of people have asked me what the best water timer is for their garden to use with their drip irrigation system. There are so many options out there and some can get quite expensive. Now I'm going to take you through why I've had success with this rain drip timer. It's fairly simple, but it does a great job and it's not too pricey. This is Tim from Organic Backyard Gardening. Now I've had this rain drip timer for over three years and it's exposed to direct sun and all of the elements. I've never had an issue with it. The thing I like about it is it takes double A batteries. Some timers use nine volts, which I find inconvenient. I've been using rechargeable batteries without any issues and I've never had a set of batteries not last the whole season in the timer. Now you notice this timer has manual dials as opposed to LCD displays or digital buttons. Now I specifically decided to stay away from in digital displays knowing that there's probably more things that could go wrong. Timers are exposed to the elements. They're always outside. So this timer is pretty self-explanatory. On the right side there's a run time so you can set it to minutes that you want the timer to run. Here it's set for 15 minutes. On the left side, there's frequency by hours. So you can set it to 24 hours for one day, or you can put it on 12 hours if you want it to run every 12 hours, which is really helpful if you want it to run in the morning and at night. Not all timers have the flexibility to run two times a day. For example, look at this timer. You can do it daily, once per day, or every three days. The other features are manual watering time. This is a one-off if you want to water for 15 minutes and it won't mess up your schedule. Or you can also switch it to a rain delay. So let's say the weather forecast is showing a lot of rain. You can switch it over and you can put on a rain delay for 24 hours. So it'll override your schedule for 24 hours. So to hook this up, I just put this directly into my spigot and then I put a low flow valve to make sure that my drip irrigation is getting the right amount of pressure. And then I put the main line directly to the low flow valve. Please click the subscribe button and the bell to be notified when we post new videos. So here's an example of the water turning on. So I'll first set it to 10 minutes and you'll hear the valve turn on. I never had any problem with water hammering from this timer. Water hammering is when the valve shuts off, air can get trapped in the pipe and it will cause a loud banging in your pipes. I had that problem with that orbit timer. Now if you do have problems with water hammering, there's devices you can get such as this to add to your spigot. In the reviews of this water hammer arrester, this gentleman mentioned that his water hammering were so significant that it broke the connection to his toilet. However, this device solved the problem. And what is interesting is he mentioned he had an orbit timer, the same brand I had a problem with. It may have something to do with how the valves are built. But like I said, I think the best timer I've ever had is this rain drip timer. I'll put the link in the description below. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Also in the description below, let me know if you use a timer. What's your favorite?